Hey peeps, Jess here, and today we're taking on the Maverick Advent Calendar. Maverick Chocolate is based in Cincinnati, Ohio. This was $22. I say was because it is now sold out. So I'm making this video so you can check it out for next year. So let's try it. I feel like the light is catching it a lot so you can't like see it, but there are so many really lovely details. I wonder if they sell this as a print because it's it's neat. I'm going to try the first line here and we'll open the rest. Let's get this open. So we have just the chocolate loose in here. Immediately I feel like they need to put what chocolate this is, but I really like to know what I'm eating, like what percentage is this? I don't know. It smells very sweet, so I'm guessing some kind of a milk. Cheers. Oh, it's a very orange scented, like those Terry's like whack and orange things you used to get as a kid. That's what it tastes like. It's very strong, it's not overpowering, but it is very prominently orange. I'm not getting as much of a chocolate flavor as I'd like, it's more of a cocoa afternote. But if you're someone who likes those wacko orange type orange chocolate treats, this is a nice upgrade in that it's a nice smooth milk chocolate with just this very strong orange scent to it. Like it's, it's just orange. Door number two. I'm not getting better at opening these. Oh no, oh no. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's rearrange some. On the plus side, it looks like there's only five in here anyway to try out, so that makes it easier. And the two bells are slightly different colors of chocolate. It's hard to see in the camera, so at least we can sort of tell who's who. But we have little trees, bells, and stars. They're very cute. Also, they are a really good size. Like, this is a nice amount of chocolate. I kind of like leaving it like this. It feels silly. <laughs> All right, let's try a bell. Just smelling milk chocolate, so we'll see. Cheers. Kind of getting gingerbread. I'm getting a little bit of spice, but also a lot of a fruit note. It's kind of a wine tanniny note that I'm not really associating with anything in particular. And it's quite savory, actually, but it's fruity savory. Kind of reminds me of a mole in that way, but it's not mole flavored. I'm not really seeing the flavor they want me to taste, and so it's kind of why I wish they had labeling on this, because I don't know what I'm eating, and so I'm making guesses. But it's still a good amount of chocolate. Next, let's try their white chocolate. It smells nutmeggy. So maybe this one's got gingerbread. Cheers. It's a rather sweet white chocolate for my preferences. Very sugar forward, but there's a lot of creaminess. So if you like a really, really creamy, but sweet white chocolate, this might be the one for you. It does have kind of a nice little spicy undercurrent to it. Not really spicy, but spice like winter spice notes in the background. Next, we have the milk chocolate bell. Smelling a bit of sweet and chocolate. So let's see. Cheers. This is incredibly vanilla forward. There's a note, I'm having trouble identifying what it reminds me of, but it's just like vanilla cocoa. It's impressive how much vanilla they're getting out of that Madagascar vanilla bean that they use. Like, it's intense. It's like eating a sugar cookie of a milk chocolate bar. It's one that I think I would really enjoy with nibs, because I do quite like that vanilla note against straight up nibs. So I wonder if they do that in the future. Last, not least, we have this little star friend. Smells minty. I was wondering when the mint was gonna catch up. There is mint in the back of the description, so I was wondering who would be the mint. I guess we have our mint. Cheers. That is an Andy's mint. It's just a rush of peppermint oil. If you like the intensity of mint oil, this is your chocolate. So my thoughts. I like advent calendars not as a countdown, but for understanding a brand at a really quick sampler level. This is much cheaper, for example, than buying five chocolate bars to try out the brand. And at $22, this is a really great deal for trying out Maverick as a brand. And I should mention here that in this particular case, this is also for me a first impressions look. I've never had this brand in quantity before. I think I might have had them at the Northwest Chocolate Festival, but I don't remember it super strongly and also Never trust your palate at a chocolate festival, you're eating too much. And the impression I get is that they are going for the nostalgia. We've got a bar that tastes like a straight up Andy's mint, and another bar that tastes like eating those whack and orange treats. And so if you're someone who wants higher quality ethical chocolate, but you really want that nostalgia, you want that childhood candy experience, this might be it. I don't think I would get this again for myself, but I'd like to try more from their brand, particularly bars with nibs, because I think that balance would be better for my palate. Announcement time. So the live stream will be on this coming Saturday, December 5th at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So I'd love to hang out with you if you have time. And if not, I'll catch you in the next video. So with that, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Are you getting any advent calendars this year? Do you have any questions for the live stream? I'd love to hear all about it. And with that, I'll catch you next time. Later.